and we're back so this is another in-store acquisition um, this is actually from a good friend of mine from you know Heroclix for a long time he runs uh, another store's events but this was actually donated to him and he's like I already have a lot of these things a lot of this so he took what he needed and then he was just gonna give them to me and I said no I'll give you store credit because it was donated to him, so he wanted to like donate it back. And I was like, no, I'll just buy it from you. Um, you know, new new set just came out, and he's a big Spider-Man fan. So the Absolute Carnage, um, or the Absolute Carnage Venom Spider-Man, whatever, that new set's coming out. So uh, he'll be using that the credit towards that. So all this is pre-Oreo base. So pre-carded, pre-Oreo base. So it's a lot of small base stuff. So without further ado, Mr. Clickso, let's go, David. So this is what. Okay, so this is, I think, collateral damage. Yeah, collateral damage CD. That's what it is. So, it looks like in the baggies is when is what all the you know quote unquote good stuff, meaning it's like the uniques and the, the LEs. So these looks like the LEs are over here. Uh, like parallax is right there. That's a good one. And then the uniques are over here, which are basically the supers from back in the day. And I'm trying to wait for the glare is kind of hard, but. Uh, you see Calabac, there's some Crime Syndicate guys, and then there's a new, this kind of like the new guy, new guy night, whatever, but there's a REV. So, that's set one. And then on to the next, we got Mutant Mayhem. Alright, so then we got these two, so you can see all the REVs there. I don't know if it's a full set, but I, I think a lot of it a lot of it's in here but um deadpool deadpool that's huge and then even wade wilson so this one's pretty popular still and we got the unique here so there's phantom x there long shot shadow king modok and then there's some more ellies over here and there's a nova right there so a lot of these don't you know they take a long time to move sometimes but if you get the right buyer, they'll just buy them all because they're trying to get the entire collection or entire set. So this is Cosmic Justice. So this was, I think, the third set, or second DC set. Uh, Martian Manhunter right there, still big. Despero, we, we just, for some reason we moved that guy in. Brother Blood. Um, there's some Ellie's in here too. So like Eddie Carlin. Validus. Vampire Batman. So, okay. There's that Mazo. I see a Mazo. Sorry, real quick. There's an Amazer right here. This guy's pretty, still pretty popular. So, there's that. So maybe not all of them are going to be in the baggies. And then we got Secret Invasion. Okay, this one snuck in here. <laughs> but this is, this is the Fantastic Four set just came out. So these are the, the there's the unique or the uh, super rares right here, and then there's the starter and the LEs right here. Um, Obviously, that with the new set coming out, these have had renewed interest. And you can see, there's a moloid. There's a moloid right there. So there's one right here. These are still big. And then, uh, yeah. So we're trying to do the the card stuff later, but that, that works. It, it's it got kind of mixed in just because it's the same size base. And then this is Legacy. Okay, so this is Legacies are pretty big ones. The Aries is a big um, figure still. Uh, Kingdom Come stuff like Hawkeye or Hawkeye Hawkman and then if there's a yeah there he is Green Lantern and if a flash so those are still big um, we got the, the REVs there and then these are the LEs over here uh, like the uh, Mr. Freeze there's a Victor Freeze and a Mr. Freeze so okay so there's that one it looks like coming up next is Unleashed And then we have, I think this is probably a better angle. Uh, okay, so it, like they put them all in one. Kind of not a good angle still, but there's General. We're actually out of that guy. Bat Knight, Dr. Fate, Man, uh, Magog, Kingdom Come guy. Let's see, there's some REV stuff in here. I don't know if there's any other, oh, see, there's a Kilowog just hanging out there. Okay, so that's uh, um, Unleashed. And then we got, I think, is this Fantastic Forces? 
Nope, it's Supernova. Okay. This is still a popular set. Silver servers are still popular. Uh, these are the LEs. There's an LE4 right there. Sorry for the glare, guys. But, I uh, try to do this angle right here. But, um, there's uh, some. There's a. I thought I saw Thanos in here, right? Is in there? Yeah, mm -hmm. there's Thanos. That's a big one. So, okay. So, that's Supernova. And I think this is the last of the pre carded. They're supposed, this is supposed to be part one because uh, the, my friend said that there, he has a lot more. Ooh. So we're just waiting for That's the next one. Nimrod. Nimrod, we just sold one of these. So this is Fantastic Forces, yeah. So this is like the last like Fantastic Four base set. And then um, we got Spider-Man 2099, Miguel O'Hara. That's still a big one. Uh, yeah, we got these dual base guys are good. And then these are the LEs right here. Uh, there's Wolverine. There's oh, there's some uniques as well and yeah. okay all right so that's that one and then now we're gonna look at the uh, uh carded stuff in a bit and now we're with the carded stuff and we're moving on to the table now because the glare was pretty bad there so this is mutation of monsters this is still like really popular even though it's old but i mean you can see um it's x-men related um like some of the weird things that that go for strangely quite a bit of money is can can you see uh, G Gambit's one Archangel is another one right there. Mm -hmm. Like we just sold them for like ten bucks, and there's two of them right there. Yeah, yeah. Let's fan it out to this side. See, so yeah, you can see the supers. They're all right there. Uh, a lot of these. Yeah, the zombie stuff still there. Apocalypse still goes mm -hmm. for stuff. Maestro. Yeah, this is a good. This is a really good set. For an older set to uh, collect because they're they're still uh, they still uh, hold value, so to speak. So there's all that. Okay. Okay. Let's get fan out all the cards. And then next one is Brave and the Bold. And right off the bat, the Batman Catwoman. That, that's a still big one. This was a mail away figure. Back then, you used to buy a brick, send in your proofs of purchase, mm. you get that. Yeah, Shazam, Shazam. But then, uh, the reason why they're so expensive is because a lot of people didn't do it. So the people that did, and they got it, you know, everyone's lazy. Lazy. It's the same, it's the same uh, uh, psychology as doing rebates. Where they're like, oh, you get a $20 rebate if you buy this now, and then you mail in your receipt and your code and whatever, then we give you $20 back. A lot of people don't do it, so a lot of companies just uh, keep that money. So, let's see what we got here. Uh, Brave and the Bold. Okay, there's generics. Good. It's usually probably in the back that's probably going to be the good stuff. Because this is a set that's not that great. Except for like, yeah, Oreo Cookie. Uh, oh, he's on the Marshmallow on the Oreo. Um, those are a stack of Oreos, by the way. <laughs> and then, uh, keep going. There should be the, the Super Rares in the back. The Flashes. Yep. And then Harley and Poison Ivy, yep. And then there's a chase right there with kal -El. So if you look here, there's uh, kal -El, Black Lantern, Superman. And then, what was I was just talking about? Marshall Man, huh? Those are Oreos. Okay. And then the next one, I think this is Giant Size X-Men. Mm -hmm. I think it's all like the Giant actual giant stuff so we won't take them out but you can see the sentinels are in there the uh, uh apocalypse he's he still goes for like 40 bucks which is nuts because uh, they haven't made an apocalypse like that size you know and he's supposed to be like an ever kind of like a um he grows and he shrinks i think he just grows he doesn't actually shrink so he gets bigger so that's like what that one is and then this one you know is Looks like it's like Green Lantern. Um, okay, so this is a lot of the pre-carded like sets. So 2099s are in here. The the DC Giants, Hellboy, BPRD, uh, Legion. So you can see the bystanders right there. And then there's still some. The carded stuff is what the uh, yeah. You can see it's like the Green Lantern stuff. I wonder if the actual Green Lantern 
collector set is in here. Hell yeah. So they're in here too. Do you still go for like, the set still is at least $30. Mm -hmm. I think we sold the last one recently. So, okay, that's that's a good one. And then we got, what is this? Oh, this actual giant size. Okay, this is still, this set is still really, really popular. Um, a lot of these go for a lot. Like if you look at this right off the top, like the sculpt's nice, the dual figures. They're like, they're the chases. You see the Hulk and this is still huge. And then just here, see if we got um, the Hellfire Club guards through like the generics. On here? Yeah, let's see. There should be comments. Those are a lot. They're like six or seven dollars each, but probably not. Um, Madrox. Oh, there they are. They're here. These guys. Those guys are like, is there only one? There's two. two. Yeah, he's. I think we saw him for seven dollars or six dollars. Mm -hmm. We do sell them. And then keep going, there should be, yeah, mm -hmm. so yep, the Phoenix is there, the Archangel, and then is there any other chases? Like, okay, Colossal Wolverine, the Gambit Rogue, yeah. So the Gambit Rogue is uh, another big one because it's still a, another popular, you know, popular duo. So, okay, that's that one. Oh, I see something here, we see something there. Crisis. Mm-hmm. And then the big one here, obviously the anti-monitor, right? Like this guy. Bam. Then we just sold this one. 30 bucks. And then there's that one right there. Bam! Superman Chase. Nice. Dark side, yeah. I think he's like $15. Uh, and then these are the supers. Whatever. Let's just fan out the cards real quick. Look at some of the highlights here. Obviously the anti-monitor. Um, Keep going. The these are the Batgirls are still up there. Batwoman. If there's a Green Arrow, he's a the, the one that looks like a yeah, Robin Hood. Those that's a popular one. He looks like Robin Hood, right? Like the way that if you look at him right here. Mm-hmm. Boom. Ten range. Yeah, and then Deathstroke, Nightwing. Okay. Back up the rear. If there's a Uncle Sam, that's randomly a popular one. Trigon's a big one. Yep. Dark Side. Okay. And then. Yeah, those are the supers in the back. And then obviously we saw the Superman. Mm -hmm. So there's that one. Okay, and then here's the last couple stacks here. There's, we're on Justice League now. Nothing really big here other than like maybe some of the supers. Um, Doomsday. Yeah, Doomsday is like the biggest one here. But if you can find um, it's Flash, the uncommon Flash. King Shark, yeah, look at that one. So King Shark is, He's like six or seven dollars. Um, and then, yeah, that Flash, yeah, he's pretty big because this is a Wally West. Most of the Flashes they make are Barry Allens. So if you're looking for a Wally West, there's not that many. Okay, um, a plastic mounds. Yeah, and then, okay. And then the Batman and Robin, that's that's another one that's pretty popular, so, okay. And then over here, this looks like it's another uh, giant stuff. Yeah, because look, there's Colo there's um, Onslaught, Apocalypse, and then obviously the Thor's Mighty Chariot. Mm -hmm. So, still sells even though it's moved slow. Um, this is now Web of Spider-Man. Mm. There's a, a Bye by the Brick. Um, there's Nightcrawler real quick. Yeah, let's see, turn it around. Mm -hmm. Is it the, no, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> but then, let's see what else is in here. There's anything that you see? Is there a carnage in here? Uncom oh, there he is, right there. This one's also a good one. Yeah, double double banger. Banger. But yeah this this carnage. Uh, you take. Yeah, but that carnage is a. Uh, it's not uncommon, but this guy's like ten bucks for an old piece like that. It's just carnage, right? Because it's the freaking movie that's coming out. Mm -hmm. Double ganger, you said, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, double ganger. That's beautiful. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, Cosmic Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks like the Avenger set's coming up. There are, ooh, yeah, the, if their judge prizes are in here, those are good. Look on the back and see if you can see uh, Sentinel of the Skyways and um, 
There he is, Sentinel Skyways, yeah. That, that's a, Those are judge prizes. Tyros, yep, there it is. These are the, oh, this guy. Oh, you know what? This guy was a judge. Um, Will told me his friend was a judge, so he got these. That's how you got them, was you were running, you're the judge for running the coming of Galactus event, and you got them. Um, the big one here, really, it's like anything Spider-Man related right now is huge. So this guy still goes for quite a bit. Okay. And then it looks like Hammer of Thor because I see a server right there. Ta -da! And he's bigger than a movie. Yeah. So Thor stuff with all the Thor, the Thor 4 coming out. The, yeah, it's a Beta Ray Bills. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, there's Surtur. Um, uh, Venom's like one of the best pieces. This is the Mac Gargan version too, so. Yeah, Spider-Man Thor. And then let's see if, can you see if there's any of the chases back here? It's, it would be 99 or 100. So you can just see here, there's the Valkyrie, that's nice. Skull Brother, mm -hmm. no, we're looking for, we're looking for Thor Buster or um, Throg. Mm -hmm. No, okay. So there's not there, but there's still, you know, a lot, I mean, Hammer Thor still goes quite fast. It's one of those, the first set that came back after the, you know, the, the buyout or whatever you want to call it, when it died for a year. Um, and uh, it was short printed because, you know, they were just barely coming back. So this is Arkham Asylum and we just sold one of these. Crown Prince and then we're looking for the Batman lamppost or the Sinestro Batman. Are they back there at all? No, okay, but that Joker's still good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, the, actually, the funny thing is, if you see henchmen, guys, oh. like, oh yeah, Flash. If you see henchmen, they, those things are, they go for a few bucks. Yeah, this guy right here. That's crazy. Generics, man, what are you gonna do? This, and this Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. It's like five bucks, mm. uncommon. Yeah, Metron. The old Here's school, it. that's the old school baddie right there. The baddie of yesteryear for world's level competition. And then the last one, I think it's a mix, but it looks like it's some uh, Brave and the Bold, some Arkham. And up here, um, this guy's huge. Batman Beyond. I know they just they just made another one, but that guy, I mean, look at that sculpt, man. There's two of them here. This guy's like $7 for a common. That's, that's pretty nuts. And this Green Arrow. It's it's weird. There's, there's just certain families, types of characters that sell, right? Like Batman Beyond stuff, the Green Arrow stuff, the Spider-Man stuff. And this one, because if you look, this is Connor Hawk. So there's all kinds, right? There's like a Arrowette, Green Arrow, the Oliver Queen, and then there's a Roy Harper. But the one that's like the Wally West of this is Connor Hawk. Because anybody who read this back in the um, the old Grant Morrison, Howard Porter run, this was the this was the guy that saved them from, I believe, Prometheus. When uh, Prometheus like this beat the Justice League, Connor Hawk had to. He beamed up to the Watchtower and was like, uh, I'm out of my league, and then he ends up saving them. So it was a great story, anybody who read that. Uh, okay, so that's this uh, acquisitions video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, there should be a part two to this when we get it, and then when we see it, we'll put it all together. So, all right, guys, until next time, when in doubt, perplex the attack.